right this is part 3 of the Kistler Reports video training series and what I'm going to talk about is as I, as I mentioned in my uh, second part of the training series is that we are going to remove some of the redundant values as you can see this is the category name the category title and the categories are listed again uh, you know for every page so we don't want that and we will also be adding the report header and we will also be adding the report footer so uh, let's quickly go to the report this is our report and this is the design view if you go to the reports menu we can see that we are in the uh, design view of the report so this is the group name and uh, you know this is how Kistra report has organized the, uh, the report and the group name displays the group name displays the uh, category name and in the detail section the category names are repeated again so we don't want that we will uh, I will just remove the uh, category name because the category is already being shown here so we don't want the category name appearing again so I'll just hit the delete it will be removed now I will go to the field explorer this is part of the uh, Kistrel report if you're working with Kistrel reports the field explorer will show up and if I expand the database field, uh, these are the table names. If I expand the products, uh, and then if I, uh, and as you notice, this field and this field, this two field, you can see a difference. You can see an arrow mark right here on the uh, small arrow, uh, the green colored arrow, which indicates that this field has been added to the uh, report. Okay, the ones that are not, are not added so uh, uh, what I will do is that uh, I will just you know move the uh, product name on the left hand side and uh, we would like to find out how many units are there in the stock okay so I will just you know click and drag this one right here right next to the product name so that and as you as you see the Kistler report has automatically inserted the heading right above the uh, the field uh, uh, detail so if I just hit save and uh, if I go to the main here and uh, this is the this is the report preview and it is showing the the uh, the units in the stock and and the uh, and the unit price okay so let's quickly what we can also do is if I just you know put this thing down uh, one more okay. I can just have a I can have a We have something called as uh, the the line. Okay, I can draw this line so that we could we can have a proper uh, grouping. I can also click and then uh, move the line. I'll just hit Control C and Control V to paste it. Okay, and uh, let's see how it looks right now a moment should look little better okay now this is the product name that is the category okay let's do that in the in the title okay instead of the header okay let's do this bring, bring this thing over here because this is the group name and this is the report header so let's underline or highlight the uh, report header okay let's not worry much about the uh, uh, the group okay so I've included we don't want the uh, the, uh, the date okay we'll worry about the date later on I'll just hit save okay Okay, so uh, 
and now it is little better than before okay now let, let's uh, let's hit run and let's see how it appears in the during the runtime and uh, it is just compiling and it will run the report and it will pull the database uh, it will pull the information or the data from the database so uh, it's working it is uh, still pulling the data from the database and as you can see this is the report header and uh, these are all the uh, the groups but again as you can see the uh, the group is again appearing here at the uh, report footer so we'll just get rid of that if I just go to the this thing and uh, group name we don't want the group name to be appearing at the footer okay so I'll just hit delete and that thing is gone and uh, let's make it let's make this one little wider because then we can see the uh, heading properly okay so I'll hit save and just run it and let's see how it appears okay I know it takes a little while to pull the data from the from the database anyway I have to you know pull this one little up to align it properly and now I think it looks a little better than uh, than before okay this is the report uh, report header and this is the group so Chai, Chang and all these product names are under the group called beverages okay and these are the uh, units that are in stock at the moment and this is the unit price for Chai, this is the unit price for this and this is the subtotal of all these products under the category name beverages okay and as I mentioned I'm going to be talking about how we can include the page footer and uh, and the report header so let's do that right now without further ado okay so as you can see currently it is displaying the page number well uh, it would be much nicer if we could have something that says page one of four or page uh, two of uh, you know fifteen so that we could know what page we are on and it is uh, consisting of how many number of pages so all we do is that right click and say uh, insert and under the special field you have something called page it should be yeah right here uh, at the bottom it says page n of m okay if you just get this thing and insert this thing in that place it will uh, it will tell you the total number of pages and uh, as you can see the page report header is now suppressed I mean it's not showing at the moment we would like this thing to be uh, to be appear so I'll just say don't suppress and now this thing is available now we can add a title or something of that sort so we'll just include a simple text object and just say uh, product by categories okay let's expand this one and uh, let's let's uh, you know make it a little bold in uh, in size okay I'll just go to the properties and uh, choose the font property and uh, okay it is currently it is regular so I'll just hit bold I can choose all the fonts that are listed here we'll just go we'll just uh, leave it to Arial and uh, that is what being shown here okay let's yeah so that's pretty much it that is the report title and uh, report footer okay let's add uh, let's add uh, uh, you know okay I'll just hit control C and control V okay instead of you know getting something again I'll just add a text box object I'll just say uh, you know okay this is the end of report and uh, I can probably okay well let's, let's not worry about that okay now this is the uh, report footer not the page footer because on the at the page at the uh, at the footer of the page what we need to appear is the number of pages 
and at the end of the report we want to have displayed end of report okay I'll just hit save I'll uh, go here and uh, I can always you know just hit the run report and uh, let's see what we get okay so this is the report title and if I go down as you can see the uh, the the end of report is not showing here because we are still not at the end of the page we are on page number one so if I you know, go to the next page uh, we are on page two of page page two of three if I go to the last page we get end of report and we are on page three of three so that is the page footer no, no that is the report footer okay the uh, page footer is this where you get the number of pages being displayed and the report header will only be displayed once you need to keep this thing in mind the difference between report header and page header the report header will appear only once at the starting of the report whereas page header will appear on every page of your report okay because we want the heading to be appearing on all the pages so that's why we include the uh, the field caption or the field names on the uh, page footer on the page header okay so uh, that was it now you learn how you how to include the uh, report header the report uh, caption and uh, another thing so yeah that was it it is really very obvious it is really very plain and simple and very straightforward so I hope this video was a little helpful to you now you learn how to include uh, footer uh, report header and the and the titles and uh, and the special field. Well, if you right click and if you go to the insert menu and under the insert menu, you have the special fields. Well, there are a number of fields. You can insert the date. If you want to insert just the time, you can do that. And, uh, you know, total page count and, uh, you know, file author and the file creation date, modification date. You can just play with all that and you can, you know, insert whatever you want as per the requirement. So you can just work with that. I mean, it's really very simple and easy. You know, all you have to do is that just drag and drop or just, you know, choose whatever you need and just stick that into your report. So that was it. So thanks for watching this video. Do join me in my next video training series that I'll be, uh, uh, you know, publishing very soon. So thanks for watching this video and you have yourself a good day. Cheers.